Good morning everyone, Observation King here with you again and today I'm going to be doing something uh, slightly different that I have actually done before uh, but not actually using the seeds although I have actually dealt with um, planting this plant before and what it is is basically strawberries so I'm aware that strawberries actually reproduce by using something called runners which is like this sort of long very thin vine that basically branches out from the main plant and then it uh, goes a few centimeters maybe a foot away from the actual main plant and then it's known as a daughter plant and it basically makes itself rooted into the soil and then grows into another strawberry plant however the small seeds that you see on strawberries that we eat actually are also able to be saved dried and then um, basically grown as well just like any other normal plant so that's basically what I have in a jar here I'm trying to see if I can focus on it. It seems to be a bit of a problem. There we go. The glass is a little bit um, blurry itself, but I'll show you that in a moment. So once again, I've got my multi-purpose pea compost just in a bag over here. And I've got a small pot that I actually saved and I'm reusing from uh, what used to be yogurt. And I've also got a stick here that I'll be using just to kind of like make a trench in the soil once I actually put it inside the pot because the seeds are so small that um, it will be hard to pick up with my fingers and film at the same time. So uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll get our multi-purpose peat compost and we'll grab a bit of that, just a bit, not much, and then we'll put that in there. We'll take out any lumps that we don't need. We'll put that to the side. And we'll keep doing that until we fill the pot. So grab a decent amount without much lumps. That should be okay. Yeah. And we're going to fill it up right to the top. Just like we did for the tomatoes previously. That's starting to fill up now, but we'll put a little bit more. Just a small amount. Probably this much is good. And we will just basically move that around to even it out with our finger. And that should be all right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this. I'm going to get a few seeds out. And then I'm going to make a trench in the cup using this, uh, uh, what do you call it now, chopstick. And I will insert a few seeds in there and I'll show you guys how I did that. All right, everyone, I'm back. And I have actually taken some of the seeds from the glass jar over here. And I've put them inside of the pot in this sort of a trench that you can see just above my fingernail there. It's a little bit tricky to see the seeds, but I think you can see a few of them. So there's six in there. I think you can see about maybe four of them right now. It's sort of like the little white dots in the middle of the cup. So that's basically the seeds. And I actually had, how many did I have in here? I had 30 seeds in here that I actually had taken from a strawberry myself. And I put six of them in this cup. So I'm just going to cover that now with some soil not much just an adequate amount and just give that a little bit of a tapping with your with my finger and then gently 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 compact the soil and that's basically now ready so that was me sowing my uh, strawberry seeds that I had taken from a strawberry I had bought from the market I dried them I put six of them in here and I'm going to moisten this slightly. I'm not going to waterlock it, but just slightly moisten it uh, and keep it moist. And hopefully within about the maximum I've heard you have to wait for is a month. So maybe if I'm lucky in a month's time, I should see some seedlings. So um, yeah, that's the, the strawberry experiment that I'm going to be trying. And thanks for watching my video, guys. And I will keep you updated in future if anything happens. So everybody have a nice day and I'll catch you later.